Hi, and welcome to another video brought to you by uh, the YouTube channel Maths From Scratch. Now, this video is the first video in a series of videos that is going to help you learn the column method for adding digits together. So what is the column method and when would be appropriate to use it? Well, the column method is a method that uses columns and it helps us add numbers together. Um, when would be appropriate to use it? Well, wherever that you need to add numbers together. So let's have a look at a really simple example to start. So here we have two single digit numbers that we need to add together, three plus four. Now we know the answer is seven, but because this is column method edition level one, and we're gonna teach column method, the column method from scratch, is that we need, to, we need to see how we actually line up our columns and actually create the method itself. So the clues in the title, because this is a column method, is we have to arrange our digits in columns. And so a nice example, such as three plus four, uh, is a nice easy introduction to how to set up our columns. So what we do is we write the three, so we write our first digit, and then because this is a column method, is that we then write the four underneath it, and so you can see why it's called a column method now, is because the digits are aligned in columns. Now underneath, we create two lines, like so, and then the actual calculation step is is really straightforward. All we do is add up the contents of this column. So three plus four, we said before, is seven. And so our answer, for example, number one is seven. So here we have example number two, which is similar to example number one. So again, we line up our numbers in columns. So we'll have a one first, then an eight, put a plus sign next to it so whoever's marking your work knows that this is a column method addition. We will now add our lines. And then we calculate in our column. So one plus eight gives us an answer of nine. And so those two examples just serve as a nice introduction as to how to set up your columns and how to add in those columns. So let's have a look at example number three. Now, as you can tell, this example is slightly different because we've got two two-digit numbers that we need to add together. Now, step one is that we write each number on top of one another, like we did with the first two examples. So we've got a 44, and then this is where lining up your columns really is important. So a 44, and then we need a 31, making great care to line up my columns. Now I'm just going to do a shortcut and add my lines. So for the sake of neatness, I've drawn my lines with the, with the ruler device here. And so what we have to do now is add up each column in turn exactly like the columns on the first two examples. However, just with one slight twist. And that is, in which order do we add our columns together? Because we can start from the right hand side or we can start from the left hand side. Now with this column method addition, you always, always, always always have to start on the right hand side like so so adding up each column in turn starting from the right hand side so we have four plus one well that gives us five and then we move on to the next column so we're moving so again moving from right to left and then four plus three gives us seven and so the answer to 44 plus 31 is 75 Again, example four is another two two-digit numbers added together. So we write the 17 first, okay, and then we have a 72 underneath, taking care to line up our columns, putting a plus sign so we know that it's a, a method addition. We add our lines and then remembering to start from the right-hand side, we then take each column in turn and add them up. So our seven add two gives me nine, and then one add seven gives me eight. And so the answer to 17 add 72 is 89. So here we have example number five. Now again, a slight difference is that this time we are adding three digit numbers together. But guess what? The method is still the same. So we line up our numbers underneath one another and write them in columns. So we've got 132 and then to that we're going to add 222. 
Now, it really does pay to take your time in writing out your columns to make sure that you've got su- sufficient space in between each column to write your numbers. Numerous times I've marked GCSE scripts and scripts from other exams where I can't see what's been going on because there's just like some scratchy little numbers written in a corner somewhere and it's really hard to see. So I'll now add my lines. So now my lines have been added. I'm now going to complete this question always again starting from the right hand side. So my first column, so 2 plus 2 gives me an answer of 4. Again, lining up, 3 plus 2 is 5, and then 1 plus 2 is 3. And so my answer to 132 plus 222 is 354. And so I think you can see now that this column method addition gets really powerful because there's no limit to how many numbers you can have and how many columns you can have written in a row, which we'll see in just the last two examples now. Right, now on to my last two examples. So example six. Again, another big difference that you might have spotted is that this time we have two numbers that are in the thousands that we are adding together. And again, no bother, we'll just use the column method to do it. So we'll write one number on top of the other, making sure to line up our columns. So one, one, three, four. Now, when I'm doing column method addition, it's always worthwhile just putting a bit more space in between each digit than you would do when you're just writing the number normally. Now this is a good habit to get into as you'll see in the further levels in this playlist in the column method addition series is that we have to use this space for something that you'll see later. So 1134 and then underneath we're going to write 3654 taking care to line up our columns 54. Now to add my lines and my plus sign. And then again, starting from the right hand side, let's answer this question. So my first column, 4 add 4 is 8. And then 3 add 5 is another 8. Again, lining up the columns. 1 plus 6 is 7. And then 1 plus 3 is 4. And so my answer to example number 6 is 4,788. And now for example 7. Now as you'll see this now is looking a bit ridiculous but the column method does work with any length of number. And so this is just to demonstrate how easy it is when we've got two numbers that are in the millions that are going to add together. So we've got 4 million 321,039 and to that we want to add 3,472,040. Now the column method is going to be our best friend here. So we are going to have to take great care in lining up our numbers one on top of the other. But if you've got the patience, this won't be a problem at all. So we'll have 4 million, so 3, 2, 1, 0, 3 and a 9. And then to that, we're going to add 3, 4, 7, 2, 0, 4, and a 0. Now I'm going to add my lines. And now I'm going to take great care in starting from the right hand side and adding each column separately. Now on all the previous examples, I put a little arrow just to remind us that we need to start from the right hand side. Now, when writing this method down, you don't have to write that arrow. That's just a, a little reminder to remember to start from the right hand side because it is easily forgotten and people start plowing through lots of these questions when they've started from the, the wrong side. And as you'll see in level two onwards, it is imperative that we need to start from the right hand side. So let's go ahead and answer this one then. So taking the first column, nine plus zero, well, that just gives us an answer of 9. 3 plus 4, well, that gives us an answer of 7. 0 plus 0, well, that gives us an answer of 0, a good old-fashioned note. 1 plus 2, well, that's a 3. Then we have 2 plus 7, that's a 9. 3 plus 4, that's a 7. And then a 4 plus 3, that again is a 7. So you can either cross your 7s or you can leave them out. doesn't really matter leave out the crosses. So that gives us a number of 7,793,079.
Right, so again, it's practice question time. So you've seen those seven examples. Now just put into practice what, what you've just been taught. So pause the video, grab a piece of paper, because maths is a written subject. So grab a piece of paper and have a go at answering those eight quick questions there. I'm sorry question eight is a bit ridiculous, but it just, I'll put it in there, I'll put it in there. So you can see how useful column method addition is. And, uh, and to be honest, who doesn't like adding numbers that are ridiculously long together? So have a go at those and I'll see you in a bit when you go through the answers. Okay, welcome back. Well done for having a go at those. And here are your quick answers for those eight. So question one, the answer was 76. Question two, the answer was 77. Question three, the answer was 429. Question four, the answer is 295. Question five is nine, 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 six. For practice question number six, your answer is eight, nine, nine, eight. Question seven is four, two, six, eight, six. And then the bigger question eight is eight, seven, three, one, five, one, eight, eight, nine, seven. So if you've got all those right, okay, well done. You can now move on to column method edition level two which we just describe what happens when one of the columns is greater than 10. Where do we uh, put two digits? Because obviously there's only room for one digit underneath each column. So that gets explained in column method edition level two. Um, if you've made a mistake, um, I'll go through really quickly every one of those eight so you can see where you might have made a little error. Thanks for watching this video brought to you by Math From Scratch. If you found this video useful or you know anyone that would, like, share, all that good stuff. Thanks very much, and I will see you soon. Okay, so let's just go through each one of these then in full answer walkthrough mode. So the first thing we always need to remember is that we are starting from the right-hand side. Never start from the left-hand left side with these. So I'll take each column in turn. So 2 plus 4 is 6, and then 3 plus 4 gives me 7. And so my answer to question 1 is 76. Question 2, again, moving from... Starting the question from the, the, the right-hand side. 6 add 1 is 7. 6 add 1 gives me 7. Question 3. 6 add 3 is 9. 1 add 1 is 2. And then 2 add 2 is 4. Again, I started from the, the right-hand side. Right-hand side, right-hand side. Always start from there. 3 plus 2 is 5. Again, starting from the right-hand side. You probably get the idea now. 7 add 2 is 9. And one add one is two. And so you can see how quickly you can speed up this process. It really is efficient once you've practiced it lots of times. Question five, four add two is six. Nine add zero is nine. Eight add one, again, is nine. And seven add two is also nine. So the answer for question five is 9,996. Question six, right hand side, one add seven is eight. One add eight is nine. 9 add nothing, again, is 9, and 4 plus 4 is 8. Question 7, 6 add 0 is 6, 4 add 4 is 8, 3 add 3 is 6, 1 add 1 is 2, and 2 add 2 is 4. And then question 8, the epic one. So I'll start from the right-hand side, and I'll, uh, this will take about a week to do. So 2 plus 5 is 7, 4 plus 5 is 9. Especially with long ones like this, you have to take care to line up your columns and also line up your answer neatly underneath. 6 add 2 is 8. 4 add 4 is 8. 1 add 0 is 1. 2 add 3 is 5. 0 add 1 is 1. 3 add nothing is 3. 6 add 1 is 7. And 4 add 4 is 8. So hopefully you can see where you've made a mistake in those. Thanks for watching. And uh, you can now move on to column method edition at level two. Thank you very much, and I will see you soon.